so next topic I'd like to discuss is related to gumbo. Let's expand our perspective view and let's go again to the uh, view properties and select shaded view just to see that we have a surface geometry here. And if we select the surface geometry, you can see that we have this um, arrows, uh, which is called combo. So on the bottom toolbars, the very bottom ones, you can see the option to turn on or to turn off combo. So you can also see other options here that uh, I'm not going to be discussing, but also um, encourage you to explore. So not in, not in this tutorial though, but maybe later on. So I can turn on and off a gumbo uh, option. And uh, with gumbo, I can very conveniently uh, transform my geometry. So I can use arrows to, to move it and also to rotate it uh, freely. But also, let's say if you want to move uh, within certain distance, you can click on the arrow, the direction vector that you want to move, and type in the value. Whoops, this was a bit too big. <laughs> and, uh, and then the same you can do with this um, representing the angle or the, uh, the, the, the rotation plane. So you can choose to retain, say, 90 degrees. And then if I want to go back, I would just say minus 90. Um, so this is, is, as you can, um, we already talked about uh, custom C planes. But then here, if um, you can imagine that this is some sort of coordinate system related to the object, to the particular geometry that you're working on, working with. And uh, you can also they have gumball related to curve and points. So with points, it's quite um, quite straightforward. But let's say with the more complex geometry, uh, we would like to relocate gumball. To relocate it, you can either um, type in common prom gumball. Relocate. So, and I can choose new origin, and then very similar to the main C planes, right? I select the um, the x direction, and as you can see, you can already see a red arrow here, and then the y direction, and I have my gumball. So now, when I um, transform my geometry. I transform it with relation um, with uh, the changed location of my gumbo. You can also uh, click on this white bubble circle here, and you can access. Maybe it's more convenient. You can access uh, other uh, gumbo options. So let's say we set it, and get get it back to the original state, and the one that I often use so let's say uh, since i have it off let's turn on our main c planes from the previous uh, tutorial section and let's say we choose another c plane so it's custom c plane zero one and so now when i select my object and when i go to gumbo uh, options I can let's say I can select whether I want to align my gumball coordinates to align to current active, currently active C plane, object, or world coordinate system. So we can experiment with that and see how it's uh, how how it changes. So also drag set other settings, but these are the basic ones. So let's say we align to C plane, and then you could 
move it like this. But if I want to move it up just to world set coordinate, then I align it to world coordinate, like Rhino world coordinates. And then I can move it um, within set axis. As you can see here, these are just some uh, longer handles. That can help you to scale the object within one uh, axis. If you use um, Shift key, you can make it in both axes and in all axes uh, proportionally. So, working with this uh, double curved freeform surfaces, Gumball is useful for modeling. Select the surface and then choose over here and the um, vertical toolbar uh, show object control points you can see the control points i will just make a ghost of you not helping with the control points so again to wireframe and then if you select some of the points the control points of the surface I'm just going to turn off other geometry for the layers. And you can modify it like this as well. So again, uh, it depends on what you are working on. It's not uh, doing it like this. It's not the, the most precise way. But sometimes this is, this is enough. Or maybe if the geometry itself is more regular, then even this type of modification, these type of modifications, there um, are sufficient.